right, guys, something a little different here. We are coming up on nine weeks, one day out uh, from the Korea 212 Pro. And this is kind of my morning routine. Gonna take you through some of my day. It's a Saturday. So it just got up a little late, actually, it's eight o'clock. Slept in a little. Um, was up a couple times with Coco. Alina had me up, so slept in a little. And right now, making my cup of coffee. Always have a cup of coffee before I do my fasted cardio. And then I have my vaso burn. So I usually put that on while my coffee's being made. I put it on my abs. So midsection, obliques. RIP Matt Porter. I still use his stuff though, especially during contest prep. Um, I do it on my lower back. Oh, he's a challenging spot to get. One thing with VasoBurn, do not touch anything after you put it on. You will regret it, especially anything below the waist. Um, the next session I can't show you, but put it on my glutes and my hamstrings. So I'm gonna put it on there, and then I'm gonna have my cup of coffee, and then it is cardio time. So catch you in a little. Uh, I hit the coffee made, so just drinking that now. I usually like to make it the night before, so it's not steaming hot and I'm trying to chug it. Um, you have two waters. The first one, I usually chug about eight ounces. Just to kind of quickly get hydrated. The other one I do for cardio. So that one and my Project AD Cocoa Lights, just because I haven't had any water throughout the night, obviously, and want to get hydrated first thing in the morning, especially if I'm doing cardio. So this is the peach mango flavor, which is really good. Just one scoop. Has all your electrolytes in here to get you going in the morning. And the nice thing about this, there's no calories. So contest prep friendly, don't have to worry about adding any extra calories into here. And there's no uh, artificial colorings, which I'm a big fan of, I hate artificial coloring and stuff. Flavor's really good. This is uh, 16 ounces of water, so I'll sip that throughout my cardio session, which is 30 minutes on the Peloton. I do wear a waist wrap during contest prep, typically. This is uh, Squeeze Me Skinny. Uh, Dave Desmosquita got me into this one, which I feel like it's a core set almost, but I do like it. Just can't wear it like all day. Right now, I feel like I could take it to notch three, but I'm pretty comfortable with notch two. Um, and then notch three, I'll probably start next week. But then I'm maxed out, so I don't know where I'm gonna go from there. But if it works, I personally don't know, but I don't think it's gonna hurt trying to get your waist smaller. And I think it helps increase the intensity of vaso burn as well. My stubborn area is always my lower back. So I feel like if I could sweat more, um, and I think it helps with breathing too, especially with like posing on stage, you don't want your waist extending. So you wanna keep everything tight. And I think this reminds you as you're doing cardio and like if you wear it throughout the day, it reminds you to kind of take smaller breaths because you can't really take like a huge breath with this thing on. I always pull it down a little because I'm worried it's going to shrink my lats. <laughs> so pull it down and we're good to go. For me, I'm a big sweatshirt guy in cardio because I do like to sweat. So I feel like I'm doing something. Um, I have the AC on pretty cool in my house. So it's like 68. So. I'm a hoodie on, get sweating type of guy when it comes to cardio. And we'll set up Peloton, get going. All right, so we are in the Peloton, or my wife's uh, office room actually. So, setting up my ride here. And it's a little different this go around. I'm used to doing cardio to drop weight. 
first time I don't have to make a weight. So when I'm setting up my cardio, usually I used to do one of these crazy classes. Um, Any more though, it's really just my calories. I just have to get my calories up, or not my calories, my heart rate up um, to like 130, 140. I'm a big Netflix guy, so here is what I typically watch. I'll set it up. I still have my cadence and everything there. And then I'm a big sports guy during cardio. It gets me going. So I like quarterback right now. That's what I've been watching. I watch the Untold Stories. That was another one I was watching. And then my cadence typically is around 100. Output I try to keep around 100 as well. We'll go for 30 minutes and resistance. I usually keep around like 33, I want to say it's at usually. So that's where we'll keep the resistance, go through. Sometimes I'm standing, sometimes I'm seated. Most of the time I'm seated. Um, unless my butt gets sore, then I'll stand for a little. I've got my motivational pictures behind me to keep me going. And then I usually have company on the couch here. So I'll leave it. coach. Coach, my cardio coach over there. Sorry, cardio coach on the couch with Coco. Um, she just woke up, so she just hopped down. And I usually have breakfast ready for her just in case she does come down. So Saturday morning, didn't sleep in. She's like, Daddy, she's an early riser too. So get this 30 minutes of cardio and then we'll have breakfast. Aftermath of cardio, the hair's not messed up. If you're not dripping on the floor, and probably didn't do cardio hard enough, so the hair's pretty funky. Definitely a nice little puddle here on the floor. And had a breath, so that's always a good sign. So 30 minutes cardio, do two minute cool down, around 230 calories today. And uh, yeah, I get to have some breakfast. Probably gonna do my pre-workout meal just because I have to go to the gym early. Um, Alina has her cheerleading pictures, and then what else? We have something else. Um, Jess has her like, eyelashes. She's getting her eyelashes done. I think it too. So have to make sure I can kind of plan my day around those two. They are my priority. Bodybuilding it is secondary to me. So make it work. Uh, gonna eat a quick meal, try to go to the gym. It's 8.50 now. Try to go to the gym around 10, let the meal digest a little, and then we got back. So gonna take you through a back workout. Not sure what gym I'm gonna go to, go to yet. Depends on timing. And uh, yeah, I'll let you see my meal, let you see my pre-workout stuff, and we'll get over to the gym. All right, so here is the pre-workout meal. Kind of a weird breakfast, but um, pre-workout meal gets moved depending on when I work out. So weekends, it's typically my breakfast. I get 220 grams of rice. I'm very anal about like my amounts. I don't know how it keeps changing that drastically. So. I'm usually better at this. There we go. Oh. I'm supposed to put your finger in the rice. That's how it goes bad. Okay. Uh, you don't you don't eat that rice. I eat this rice. Then we got Mega Fit Chicken. So 120 grams here, and then we got 15 grams of coconut oil that we get to put on that, which is my favorite. We got Mega Fit Grilled Chicken which is perfect because very basic chicken breast. Throw it in the air fryer. That is my favorite. So we're gonna throw five ounces in the air fryer. It's 
kind of frozen yet. Just took it to the freezer a little bit ago. So I'm gonna make sure that was, that was seven ounces. So actually get six ounces, I think I get. Six ounces. Protein I'm not as crazy with because there we go. So six ounces. And then this I usually put in 400 and do it for like six minutes. That's usually enough to get it nice and crispy almost. And then the coconut oil. We got the extra, extra virgin coconut oil. I get 15 grams of that and I just mix it all up on my chicken and rice. And can't forget the Redmond salt. So I get three fourth teaspoon of Redmond's salt pre-workout, which makes for a really salty meal. I usually do half teaspoon in my meal and then the other one fourth teaspoon in my pre-workout shake, just because otherwise it tastes like I'm literally like eating salt. So that is the pre-workout meals. As we get that ready, I'm gonna get my supplements ready. All right, some of the morning supplements. We got Immune Plus, we got it's Liver Sunday, Plus. Sunday. What'd I say? Sunday. Oh, listen to Lena, I guess, yikes, wrong day. Um, pepsin, digestive enzymes, vitamin C, and then I also take astragalus for kidney support, immune health, uh, baby aspirin. I take with my coffee in the morning. For cardio, glutamine, tutka. Um, so those are just some of the supplements I use on a regular basis. Uh, what else am I missing? Vitamin D, Matador with my higher carb meals, and here's kind of my handful of pills for meal one. All right, guys, hair is still cardio crazy, but got my meal here and you can kind of see the salt on this puppy. Lots of salt. Um, forgetting one thing though for this. I always put um, sauce on it. I'm still using the coconut amino sauce. It's a soy free alternative. So I'll usually just kind of put a small amount. It's either that or mustard usually for me. This is pretty cool though, it's only 15 calories per serving and a uh, small amount of carbs in there and tastes pretty good too, which I like. So add a small amount of that on there for a little flavor, get this meal down and get ready for the gym. Alina's pre-workout, double chocolate chip cookie, I want that, mmm, yummy. Here's my supplement stack that I get ready before the gym. We got proteins. This one is crazy good. Um, I only use one scoop just because it's not pure isolate, so it tastes amazing though. Uh, it tastes just like peanut butter. And then I use the ISO 100 Dimatize typically for my post-workout shake, 50 grams. Pre-workout, we got the Nitrox. We got the Shreddable Fire, one scoop of each. And then intro workout, the giant Hydra cup shaker with raging full. We got three scoops still, about 75 grams of carbs. And then we got a scoop and a half of amino tour. So I'm gonna mix those up here now. And we are heading to the gym. Here is the fit today. Oversized Prodigy sweatshirt t-shirt. We got the matching uh, sweat shorts. They are, I think, seven inch inseam. Um, of course, we got the Jordans to match. This is going to be available this weekend, so keep an eye out for this. This is the XL oversized and large shorts. There's the full fit. Comfy French Terry 
this is probably my favorite thing to travel in actually for airport and stuff and keeps you warm keeps you comfy keeps you fresh hey guys we just got to powerhouse bethlehem um probably the best gym when it comes to equipment in this area i would say um they have every hammer strength every arsenal um they're getting new equipment it feels like every week every month so best equipped gym um i would say in the area for sure and especially like back and leg stuff uh so i came up here for a back workout their back stuff is just, it's hard to find a gym that has so much variety when it comes to different back machines uh, to hit different areas. So that's why I'm up here today. I'll make the trip now and then. For me, it's like a 20, 30 minute drive. So I don't always get to make the trip out here. Um, but when I can, I definitely like to. And they have a really, really cool posing room where I do posing clients and work with them out of there. So it'll be nice to use the posing room uh, they have the mirror set up, lighting's decent, and uh, you can really work on your back poses because they have the back mirror as well. So you could kind of take a look at your back, see what's going on back there, and make sure everything's firing and engaging correctly. So hopefully I have enough time, uh, get a quick back workout in, and then get some posing in as well in the room there. So.
Alright guys, we just got back from Powerhouse. Had a good workout with uh, my bro Loudon. It's good to catch up with him and get a workout with him. It's been a while. And uh, did back, did some posing. Didn't really do too much videos because I just did a back video last time. So didn't want to bore you with that. But did show you a couple new machines I like from there. Um, here is post-workout meal. And then this is one that I use Matador with. One capsule. And we got 90 grams of cereal, one banana, and a 50 gram protein shake. So we just went through the Amazon packages. This is the Jessica section here. And here's the Justin section. So out of the Amazon packages, I had two. One was a tie because we have a bar mitzvah tomorrow. So new tie and then this is a pocket square holder so those are my two big Can purchases no clue what mommy got Can we open them? no we'll wait for mommy coco's Dad. checking them out anything for coco nope all right so we are on to post-workout meal this is kind of like the follow-up uh, post-workout meal whole foods so i get five ounces of potatoes with some green beans i typically do the steamables and then get some chicken um it's either that or it's typically uh ground bison doing chicken today um and i'll add some additional fats to this meal and then we get some pineapple as well we get 60 grams of pineapple which i love getting fruits in my meal plan yet during prep really enjoy fruits so 60 grams of pineapple and i will eat this one now and then I'm gonna end up eating breakfast, my breakfast meal, earlier. So, like, probably for my next meal will be my like lunch. my breakfast meal. So. My dinner is done. It's not dinner yet. This girl's wacko. She's mm -hmm. bugging me to go to Target. So I guess we'll end up at Target too, eventually. So that's gonna be my meal here. Everything goes in the air fryer. Throw this in the air fryer. And we'll be good to go. All right, the meal is done. So I'm gonna give you a quick peek of the meal. She's still sawing away over here looking for gold. But here is the cream of rice. Perfect consistency, some frozen organic blueberries in there. Very, very tasty. I saved that for last because that's like my dessert usually. And then we got, put a little bit of no sugar added organic ketchup on there and then we have my friend professor nuts 28 calories that's going to be added onto my cream of rice there to make it even better we have one serving of matador because the carbs are over 50 grams and digestive enzyme and alani new tropsicle i don't know if i like that one actually my wife gets those a lot so i'm not sure if i like this flavor i'm not sure if that's a coconut flavored one or not but I don't like coconut, but need something to keep me going because we have plans later tonight yet. It's only 5.30. Ew, it's like sand. I'm getting tired, so hopefully that keeps me going. I know you're not. So, and then I did get a uh, Project AD package in, so once I finish eating this, I will dig into that and show you what I got in my Project AD package. But first... I'm gonna enjoy this tasty meal. All right guys, it is 10.15. We just got home a little bit ago from a place called Wonderlust. It's like an outdoor beer garden slash like music, they have music, uh, playground for kids, food, uh, drinks, and met up with some friends and family. Now I'm finally going through my mega fit meals. So cool thing, they pack them on dry ice so everything's still cold. Um, I kind of did it purposefully because I knew I had to pack some meals tonight yet. So lots of chicken by the pound, you know, my favorite. Um, and then I always get wifey some meals. So Jess got margarita pizza, which is like a high protein pizza. She gets like two meals out of those. So those are pretty good for her for lunch dinner. I got some 
a la carte ground beef. That's what I use in the morning. It's 93% lean ground beef. We got, their steak is really good too. I got some steak here. They're in the air fryer, of course. Uh, another margarita pizza. And more ground beef, more chicken. When I'm in contest prep, it's mainly just kind of protein by the pound. More ground beef. More chicken. Pile one up here. Chicken. We got a steak and potato. That one has like just sliced potatoes. So it's like French fry cut. Only 33 grams of carbs. So that works out well. Buffalo chicken. Quesadilla. Jess likes that one a lot. And more chicken. So I'll be stacked up for the week there on Mega Fit Meals. Throw some in the freezer, some in the fridge. And that is our meal prep for the week, pretty much. So easy, tasty, and busy, as you can see, because it's 10 15, I would not be prepping food right now. So it comes in clutch, especially in prep. So that is a wrap for nine weeks out. Appreciate you guys staying with me today and going through the day with me. Uh, last meal of the night is typically the one I have upstairs. Jess usually makes me eat it on the floor, so we we'll usually watch a TV show. Tonight I think we're watching, uh, what is it, is it Tommy? Oh, yeah, Ghost. No, Power Book. Power book. Um, Tommy Egan. Um, my exciting... I'm watching Jersey Shore right now. The English muffin with Professor Nuts and some sugar-free jelly. And, like I said, I'm tired. So, same content. Still getting my protein in, but it's a shake tonight with some water. And heading to bed, because I have cardio in the morning before we head out. And that is a wrap for... Nine weeks out, still pretty much energy, I'd say. Um, 30 minutes of cardio, not too bad. Food, still feel like I'm eating, not starving yet. So we'll, uh, we'll see where eight weeks takes us next week. And tune in for eight weeks out. We'll take you through probably more of a workout, maybe some grocery shopping. Um, comment any, just kind of feedback, any... <sighs> Just kind of, God, I'm tired. Um, any ideas <laughs> of what you guys want to see for the following weeks? And we'll go from there. Coco says good night. Say good night, Coke. Good night. Your eyes look kind of crazy, but say good night. <laughs> All right. Say so see you guys at eight weeks out. Peace. Your Coco's eyes look eight weeks real out crazy. Too. <laughs> All right. That's a wrap, guys. We'll see ya. Stay tuned.